Jesus. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Aha, karibu sana, karibu sana wherever you are. Welcome. Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja wherever you are. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja. Ah, uh, you can tag your friend, you can share in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Welcome wherever you are. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Ah. Anton Mwangi can see you Ferris. I can see you Tabitha karibu sana. Karibu sana mahali popote uripo. Wacha tubarikiwe pamoja usiku wa leo Joel. Ah, uh, Sarah Emery nimekuona. <laughs> Nims Kibe, karibu sana. Welcome, welcome. Aha, aha. Ukiingia you just share. Sisire, karibu sana Nyambura, Jabchumba. Ngetich. Ah, uh, karibu ni sana, karibu sana, karibu ni sana. Wherever you are, welcome, welcome. Uh, it is another great night. Evangelist Michael, I can see you. Shiko kawabu. <laughs> uh, unasema kwa boko tuned kabisa. Mary Wajiko, karibu sana, karibu sana. Karo, God bless you so much. God bless you. Hey, Ben Kim, na leo umegema pema umeko umepotea sana. <laughs> hey, leo mpaka hii, mpaka juri ya suwa na kima. Leo, leo, leo watu wata, wata igiriwa sana ukikosa kushe hapo. Sababu, kiona juri ya hapo, lazima kubushe watu hiyo kazi. <laughs> hey, Pastor Muridhi, I have seen you. Praise God, how are you doing? <laughs> how is Zimmerman? <laughs> Dominion City. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Mother, mother, wagothi ya Kenya, karibu sana. Aha. Gatuma. <laughs> uh, tonight uh, is another great night. Eh, hey, niti Ezekiel Maundu. Mama ke Kelvin, karibu sana, karibu sana. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Aha, aha, aha. <laughs> Mary, Mary ni mjogu, karibu sana. Ukiingia unashare alafu tunabarikiwa pamoja tag your friend alika rafiki yako wacha tubarikiwe tunaangalia kanisa rasmi interesting church in fact kan, kati ya makanisa saba hili ni kanisa ambalo hakuna makosa ilipatikana na ni kanisa ambalo lipitia matatizo but hakuna makosa ilipatikana hapa so hakuna mahali Mungu aliingilia hili kanisa but liliingilia lilipitia mambo mazito sana so taangalia kwa nini wakristo wanapitia mambo mazito kwa nini wanapitia tribulations kwa nini wanasafa kwa nini wanagojeka in the born again na Kristo alibeba magodwa haya ni maswali ambayo tutayajibu Ezekiel Maodo naona umaito mpaka umeingia. Damari stege karibu sana. <laughs> uh, tag your friend, alika rafiki yako. Uh, napenda sana juri ya na makema kiingia, anaambiwa tu share share share. Pasa mlezi leo unapata mtu akukusaidia. Katerina karibu sana. <laughs> uh, pasa mlezi anakumbusha watu wa komba ushie to that that is seven groups. That is seven groups. Wajirua doro ni uretu wo. Joyce J. Jane. Karibu sana Karen Jane. Karen Jane. Anasama kwa ba meingia hapa. Nims. Analika watu kabisa. Ah, this one is nice. Biri has zungu. Karibu anasama kwa ndani. Meru wajirua anasama. Karibu sana. E hey, mpaka naona mpaka mtu wabayo anaito hapa fansa mudhoni. Karibu sana. <laughs> <laughs> Tag rafiki yako. Tag rafiki yako. Pastor Joseph Karen, I have seen you. I have seen you. <coughs> Josephine Jerry, Josephine Jerry. Ah. Eh, mora goni amepotea, mora goni apota. Najua kama ataingia tu hivi. Ukimtagi hivi anaingia. Aha, uh-huh. this now this nice, this nice. This is nice Beatrice James. Beatrice James, karibu sana. <laughs> Niambi uko wapi Mase Queen nimekuona ulingia Esther Waboy have seen you. Aha. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Asante kwa watu wa Bwana share. Kuna watu wa Bwana share. Mungu awabariki sana America yeye. 
Mutero Patrick karibu sana Masimaina Noni Noni have seen you Michael Carey God bless you Ah uh, unaambia kuna mtu ambaye anacherewa <laughs> I like I like I like you as well but I like you sana akiingia ana kazi ya maana sana I feel you <laughs> na leo umeingia mapema sana Agnes karibu sana <laughs> uh, <laughs> I nimeona kama Anton Mwangi agree with you watu wanatamani sana neno na Bwana <laughs> Uh, wanatamani sana neno la Bwana wanaingia hata bila kucherewa Joel karibu sana Bikuria karibu sana Aha. watu wako serious hawataki kuchelewa wako pale wanatamani neno la Bwana sana sana unajua mtu ambaye amefuatilia me grow sana kwa neno la Bwana so hakuna kungangana <laughs> mtaro anasema kama katambe <laughs> Kenodi akori karibu sana. Watu wa Doha, where are you? Watu wa Germany, nimemwona hapa. Ah ah. Evangel Smiko mate watu wazima man. Eh, <laughs> Ruse wa Jogo, karibu sana. Ah, uh, Julius anafanya kazi. God bless you Julius. I like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one is very interesting. This one is very interesting. This is a time to hear the word of God. Faith in Eva, karibu sana. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. Don't miss this one. So many people are sharing. Continue sharing. Wacha tu barikuwa pamoja. Maybe kuna watu ambao wako chini kabisa. Wacha wasikize neno la Bwana, wabarikiwe na utalipwa. It is not in vain. It is not in vain. Lazima utalipwa. Ah, Naomi Bela said Danny Dama karibu sana Getao M Steven <laughs> Gideon Kamodo nasema kwamba uko tuned ah wise favor nasema kwamba uko pale 001 uko tuned yes we have we have come we have two minutes to go two minutes to start now two minutes to start now two minutes tag your friend tag what kama kum hivyo ita watu kadhaa maybe kuna mtu ambaye yako chini akisikiza neno la Bwana lazima maisha yake yatabadilishwe na neno la Bwana Kate Bob unasema kwamba pamoja sana pamoja sana aha Martha anasema kwamba ako plus <laughs> is it Israel plus 972 is it Israel then can you karibu sana na Nancy Jeroge i have seen you na kuna watu ambao wanafanya kazi mzuri sana they are sharing they are sharing by the ways Sylvester how is Muranga? <laughs> Na chao surukasi umepotea sana. Umepotea sana. Eh? I brief tonight. Uh, ni ya maajabu sana ukiona kama umekuja. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Get your Bible. Vero Moreithi karibu sana. Ah, thank you. What a night. What a night. Watu wana queue. Wanatamani neno la Bwana liwaingie ndani. So many people are doing the necessary. Rebecca Kimbe have seen you. Sara Kageni. God bless you. Win mine. Aha. Watu wa Greece wameingia mapema sana leo. <laughs> Tambu wa Geshi. <laughs> Ah uh, now we can go now we can go now we can go we can go now very important wacha tubarikiwe pamoja <coughs> oh gaduke gaduke modo unajua ataingia gaduke modo unaitwa gaduke modo gaduke modo leo unajua kwamba lazima ataingia <laughs> gaduke modo <laughs> somebody attack for me gaduke gaduke modo Uh, wakasungura <laughs> najua ingia tu hapo utamuona lazima ataingia so now we are ready to go we are ready to go we are ready to go now we are ready to go now <clears throat> oh magi moroki mwingine unasema kama uko pale katal uko pale katal eh eh kaka jo kajo kajoneto <laughs> <laughs> majina ingine wewe tusaidiwe na farodhi hiyo amezoea kutamka haya majina <laughs> baba katika jina takatifu la bwana Yesu Kristo asante kwa usiku wa leo bwana asante maana kebabu unanena na maisha yetu 
Asana maana kibao tunaposoma kitabu cha ufunuo tutapata ufunuo wako. Maisha yetu Mawazo yetu yatabadilishwa na wewe Bwana. Mio yetu itabadilishwa na wewe. Asante maana neno lako ni nguvu. Haujawahi ileta hivyo buri. Ninapoingia kwa maisha yetu Bwana, lazima lifanye mambo. Lazima lilete utofauti Bwana. Haujawahi tuma neno lako bure Mungu. Jehovah God nyesha ya kwamba ikinyesha lazima kuwa kuna mimea itamea Bwana. Nasi mio yetu lazima baba itahuishi jina la Yesu Kristo usiku leo tunatangaza neema yako usiku leo tunatangaza nguvu zako usiku leo we declare your power we declare your anointing of God asante kwa mama asante kwa familia asante kwa watu ambao wanafuatilia Jehovah tunatangaza kwamba kuna watu unaponya tunatangaza siku leo kuna watu unafungulia milango tunatangaza usiku leo kuna watu Jehovah God unainua to a higher level of glory kuna watu ambao Jehovah God hawana nguvu atapata nguvu kuna watu ambao nasumburua na mambo ya maroho mbaya we declare your deliverance through your word unasema kwamba ulituma neno lako bwana and through your word you deliver your people na tunatangaza baba unakomboa watu unatena miujiza unafanya makubwa in Jesus mighty name baba maroho yote mbaya agano zote mbaya zinajaribu kufuata watu we declare in Jesus mighty name hazina nguvu hazina nguvu right now hazina nguvu tunatangaza neema yako maroho yote mbaya kwa chini ya miguu yetu yote ya kiuchawi yote ya masone yote ya masatanisa maroho yote mabaya kwa chini ya miguu yetu father you are reigning kwa maisha yetu unatawala kwa mataifa unatawala kwa familia Unatawala kwa watoto, unatawala kwa vijana. Na ndiye sande baba kwa wakati umetupea. Kwa maana neno lako baba litaleta nguvu. Neno lako lina nguvu, litaleta mabadiliko. Watu wako watabadilishwa na wewe. Kwa maana unatenda na unaonekana. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tunaomba na hata kuamini. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you. Uh, get your Bible now in the book of Revelation chapter number 2. Revelation chapter number 2 Na sare nyabu karibu sana Revelation chapter number 2 verse 8 to verse number 11 verse 8 to verse number 11 verse 8 to verse number 11 nataka unitegee vizuri sana manake this is very important this one is very important manake kuna mambo ya muhimu sana tutayataja mahali hapa na mambo bao you need to understand na utangalia bona unapitia mambo mazito na umeokoka Bona kuna vita, bona kuna tribulations. Bona you believe the finished work of the cross. But you still unapitia mazito. Haya mambo tutaona kwa hili kanisa hapa. Na naamini kwamba kila mtu atatoka hapa amebadilishwa. Asante kwa wale bwana ingia. <laughs> uh, Frodo anasema kwamba Frodo <laughs> you are safe. Ameingia sana. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Uh, man of peace. <laughs> A man of peace. So tunaangalia the touch of Simurin. Nasoma verse number 8 to verse number nataka unitegemee manake this one is serious. In serious na kuna mambo ambao sitaki kukimbia nataka uyaelewe vizuri sana na you understand. Verse eight, to the angel of the church in Simurina right. Na nilisema kwamba anytime you see angel Uh, is messenger inamaanisha kwamba in greek it is pastor love that church ni pastor wa kanisa ambaye anaandikiwa hapa these are the words of him who is first and the last who is the first and the last who died and came to life again ambaye alikufa na kaishi tena na hapo tutaangalia mambo very interesting verse number nine, i know you are frictions If kuna verse inanijenga sana ni hiyo. Bali nasema kwamba I know your afflictions and your poverty. Hebu imagine. Mungu anasema kwamba I know your afflictions and your poverty. And I know kuna watu ambao hata before ni hubiri. Wanapitia a lot of afflictions. Wanaona kwamba hawana pesa. And I believe if you are poor how you feel ever here kanisa. Paka Mungu anasema kwamba I know paka your poverty. <laughs> Look at this. Yet you, you are rich don't miss that one then bible nasema namna gani if kuna kitu napenda sana ni hii sasa if kuna pitu, kitu napenda sana ni hii sasa i know <laughs> the standard of those who say they are jews mm. 
and are not, but are synagogue of Satan. They are synagogue of Satan. They are synagogue of Satan. Verse number 10. Do not be afraid of what are about what you are about to suffer. Hey, imagine. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison. The devil you put some of you in prison. In prison to test you. To test you. Uh-huh. And you will suffer persecution for 10 days. For 10 days. Be faithful even to the point of death. And I will give you the crown of life. And I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, I like that one. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death. By the second death. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Kalibu sana. Kalibu sana. Tunapoangalia kanisa la Simurina a very very interesting church. Na kwa wale ambao wamebini wageni uh, hawaje kuwa pamoja nasi. Tumekuwa tukitambua kitabu cha ufunuo. Actually tumekaa tumemaliza tu mabaki chapter number 2 and chapter number 3 tumaliza kitabu cha Revelation. Na if maybe ni mara ya kwanza ningekuomba uende uangalie those notes. Ujaribu <laughs> kuangalia a kila chapter na uangalie maana ya kila chapter. Na usiku wale tunaangalia kanisa Rasimurina, kanisa Rasimurina. Na ili understand kanisa Rasimurina ni vyema sana kuelewa mambo kadhaa. Mambo very very interesting. Kwanza wacha tuangalie kanisa Rasimurina vile mahali ilikuwa kulikuwa the city. Ile city ya Simurina mahali kanisa ilikuwa ile city ilikuwa namna gani Magdis it is very interesting kwa sababu Simulina was the wealthiest kati ya miji kadhaa Gadis nao inajulikana kwamba ni mji ni city ulikuwa ni utajiri sana na most beautiful ilikuwa ni utajiri sana and most beautiful don't miss that one so the city was beautiful not only that ilikuwa ni utajiri sana Imagine, imagine kanisa ni maskini. But mahali kanisa liko ni tajiri. Bali nitakuonyesha kwa kwa nini ilikuwa maskini although mahali wanakaa ni tajiri sana. So understand hayo mambo mawili sana. The city was beautiful na ilikuwa tajiri sana. Na mji wa Simurina ulikuwa umejengwa juu ya mlima. Ule mlima ulikuwa unaitwa Pagos. Pagos P A G O S Pagos Mlima wa Pagos ni mahali sasa si Murina ilikuwa na mahali church ilikuwa na kwenye ule mlima unaitwa Pagos you need to understand this very very interesting Yakobo kulikuwa na buildings zilikuwa zimejengwa mahali pale pa, ule mlima unaitwa Pagos there were buildings zilikuwa zimejengwa mahali pale very beautiful buildings and because of that The city of Simurina mahali Simurina ilikuwa mahali juu na kuna miji imejengwa mahali pale na ule mji umejengwa juu ya mlima that's why Simurina was also called crown of Simurina crown of Simurina crown of Simurina na utaona niko nini na maana wanaambia kwamba watapewa crown of life kwa maana wakiambiwa juu ya crown of life wana relate na Simurina vile ilikuwa imeitwa kwa mahali ilikuwa imekaa juu kama mlima hivi kwa mlima hivi na kuna miji imejengwa mahali pale that's why ilikuwa inaitwa crown of simurina na ilikuwa ni tajiri sana and beautiful vile imetengenezwa pale but you need to understand something about simurina before tutamue you need to understand something juu ya simurina very very interesting pale simurina kulikuwa na miungu walikuwa na abudu kulikuwa na miungu walikuwa wanaabudu na ile miungu walikuwa naabudu ni miungu ya nature the goddesses of nature miungu ya nature na walikuwa na yabudu kwa mwaka mara mbili miungu ya nature kwa mwaka mara mbili atum na wakati wa spring 
na the reason why walikuwa na abudu twice walikuwa na mini kwamba ile ile miungu yao ilikufa na ikafufuka so time moja walikuwa na kumbuka time ilikufa na time nyingine wanakumbuka time ilifufuka hebu imagine so wanakumbuka time ilikufa na time ilifufuka mark that so hiyo miungu ilikuwa inabudua pale na the same same place don't forget still roman empire alikuwa anabudiwa mahali pale na lazima kila mwaka ungechoma uvumba kwa empire yeye mwenyewe na ukichoma uvumba kwa empire yeye mwenyewe upewe certificate upewe certificate ya kuwa umechoma uvumba kwa ajili yake na usipofanya hivyo ulikuwa persecuted ulikuwa nauliwa ulikuwa nawe kwa prison and that's why nitakuonyesha hapa the reason why lile kanisa ni kwa sababu ukikosa kuabudu Caesar au empire maya yako pale ukosa kuchoma uvumba lazima ungepewa certificate na anywhere you go ungeenda na that certificate mark that anywhere you go ungeenda na that certificate very very important Ah pasa su <laughs> Mungu akubariki sana God bless you so much Eh uh, God bless you so much Wazazi <laughs> wangu wanasema kama uko tuned na ameshare <laughs> God bless you God bless you na na kunisikiza nao Naongea juu ya the set of Simurina nimesema na bwana ilikuwa ni tajiri sana namba 2 ilikuwa ni biru sana Aha alafu nikasema namba 3 nisikize Simuria na mtu wa Simurima mlima ulikuwa juu ya mlima na ule mlima ulikuwa naitwa Pagos Pagos na kuna buildings zilikuwa zimejengwa mahali pale na vile ulikuwa beautiful na buildings right now Simurina ulikuwa umepewa jina Simurina ilikuwa naitwa the crown of Simurina the crown of Simurina Get that now crown of Simurina. Alafu nikasema kwamba kuna miungu ya nature walikuwa na budu pale. Na walikuwa na mimi kwamba ilikufa na ikafufuka. Hiyo miungu ilikuwa imekufa na ikafufuka. That's why walikuwa na yabudu twice per year. Walikuwa na mimi kwamba ilikufa na ikafufuka. Get that very very important manake nitakuonyesha kwa nini Jesus Christ akijitaburisha kwa kanisa la Simurina kwa nini nilisema kwamba ni yeye alikufa na amefufuka manake alikuwa anasema kwamba sio hiyo miungu ni yeye alikufa na akafufuka it is not about hiyo miungu anaambiwa ni yeye hiyo ni tuna sana not only that mark this emperor alikuwa anabudiwa kama mungu lazima once per year ugemwabudu Uchome uvumba kwa ajili yake na ukifanya hivyo unapewa certificate na hiyo certificate inakusaidia nisikize sasa inakusaidia kufanya mambo huko hiyo certificate inakusaidia mpaka kununua vitu and that's why watu wa kanisa la Simurina manake walikataa kuinamia empara manake walikataa kuinamia asiza Ah na, na, na wale ambao walikuwa na wanainulua mahali pale wakuwe wakubwa that's why kanisa ilikuwa maskini kwa sababu lazima ungekuwa na certificate ya kwamba umemwinamia empara na umemwita yeye ni Mungu get that umwita Mungu ili upewe certificate ukuwa rifai kufanya mambo yako na watu wa kanisa walikataa that's why wakawa maskini that's why they were poor kwa sababu kuna mambo walikataa walikataa kuinamia miungu Hara nono watu wangapi wanaweza kubali hivyo? Hebu majini Kenya na mahali ulipokutangazwe. Kwa mbio kwa lazima tuinamia president. Alafu ukinamia president uchoma uvumba, alafu pewe certificate. Na ukipewa certificate sasa utaitumia kufanya mambo yako. Unaitumia mpaka kununua vitu. Without that certificate ulikuwa unachukuliwa unawekwa kwa prison, unafungiwa. Na kuna mambo mawili yanayofanyika kwako ukifungiwa either uwekwe kwa simba mahali sasa kuna dieta mahali watu walikuwa nawekwa alafu simba zinaachiliwa zikukure pale or uwekwe juu ya mti alafu uchomwe pale kwa mti ufungiliwe kwa mti alafu uchomwe pale
Na wale ambao wamesoma history pasta wa Simurina nataka unisikize pasta wa Simurina alikuwa anaitwa Polycarp Polycarp was a pastor of the church of Simurina Na watu ambao wamesoma history kuna semekana hivi ya kwamba yeye mwenyewe alikuwa ni disciple wa John Nisikize alikuwa ni disciple wa John yule ambaye sasa anaandika hapa alikuwa sasa amekuwa ame discipled by John na ndiye alikuwa sasa pastor wa Simurina history nasema kwamba alikataa kuinamia empire and guess what happened akawekwa kwa mti alafu akachomwa kwa mti aliwekwa kwa mti na akachomwa pale kwa maana alikataa alisema sita inamia binadamu alisema kwamba sita sita inamia kiongozi beta ni chomwe but ni remain nimesimama na Mungu let me tell you some, something now anybody hearing my voice wakati umefika this a time could decide kama watu wa church ya Simurina walikataa kuinamia binadamu watu wangapi wanainamia binadamu watu wangapi wanaina ukiwa stua wanaweza hata Mungu watu wangapi wanaacha Mungu ili waolewe watu wangapi wanasema kwamba afadhali haya mambo yakae alafu nasema kwamba wacha kwanza uende hiyo kazi watu wangapi but watu wa kanisa la Simurina walikuwa nakataa kuabudu empire and that's why ukisoma pale nitakuonyesha waliamua kwamba watafungiwa kwa prison ni kwa sababu wamekataa kuabudu miungu mingine ni kwa sababu wamekataa kuamini kwamba hiyo miungu imekufa na imefufuka and that's all, that is why now John akaamua kwamba aandikie kanisa la Simurina and that's why today now tunasoma hili kanisa na ni vyema u understand that foundation and with that foundation kuna mambo ambayo hayatafanya uchanganyikiwe now follow me closely now Simurina kanisa la Simurina the name Simurina means ma or mane mane get me now the name Simurina means ma or mane mane get that now ma or mane mane that's the meaning of the name Simurina and you understand ma means bitter bitter kumaanisha kwamba jina ya ile kanisa inaitanisho na mahali ilikuwa inamaanisha bitterness uchungu nao mambo mazito persecutions na mahali ilikuwa inatumika kwa mbam maiti if kuna maiti sasa ilikuwa inatumika kwa mbam sasa kusikuwa na ile harufu inatoka Nataka tuangalie mambo kadhaa before tutambua nataka tuangalie mambo kadhaa jua hili jina na vile lina apply kwa lile kanisa mahali pale get this and follow me close right now jina lile apply namna gani maana kuna power ya jina kuna power ya jina bona hili kanisa inaitwa Simurina ma or mane mane very important Mane mane si mbaya maneka kila mtu kwa maisha lazima atapitia <laughs> mahali atakutana na mane mane Okay why Wacha tuangalie first kwa Old Testament Ukiangalia mane mane kwa Old Testament wakati Mungu alinenea Moses na akasema kwamba kuna anointing oil na ile anointing oil inafaa kutengenezwa na ikitengenezwa ndio itatumika ku anoint priest na high priest na itukimika kwa anoint watomo ni kings wa falme na itumika kwa anoint prophet anointing oil ili itumika kwa anoint akina Aaron ili tengenezwa na vitu tano vitu tano na kitu cha kwanza kilitumika kutengeneza anointing oil it was meaning mane mane ilikuwa ni kati ya zile component tano zilitumika kutengeneza the anointing oil na don't forget the anointing oil in the old testament also in a picture the anointing oil the holy spirit in the new testament meaning anybody about an anointing of god lazima kuwe an experience mane mane kwa maisha yake 
Okay. Anybody listening to my voice and you have the anointing of God, remember ile anointing, anointing oil. I'm going to to Mika, kumwagiria priest mafuta, na wafalme mafuta. Don't forget, wewe ni kuhani, na wewe ni mfalme. Kumanisha kwamba una mafuta ndani yako. Now we say the Old Testament is a shadow, a type of the New Testament. Get that? Old Testament is New Testament concealed, and the New Testament is Old Testament revealed. So I can do the same thing mane mane. Lazima in your life, you to experience mane mane. Kwa sababu anointing oil ya kumwagiriwa watu lazima ingekuwa na mane mane. Na mane mane means what? Bitter. So lazima as long as umemwagiriwa mafuta kuna siku moja au siku mbili unasikia kwamba mambo yako ni chungu. Unaonekana kama familia yako ni chungu. Unaonekana kama mambo yako kana kama hayakai vizuri. Leo nimekuja kukuambia kwamba anybody ambaye amemwagiriwa mafuta lazima utapitia mane mane. Mane mane inasimamia namna gani? Mambo chungu. Lazima wakati mwingine utakuwa na vita. Lazima mambo wakati mwingine utaona kwamba unainukiwa. Hiyo ni mane mane. And that's why wakati David alimwagiriwa mafuta lazima nisikize wakati alimwagiriwa mafuta opposition ilikuja. And mark this wakati na polena anointing of god anointing inaleta mambo mawili eh hey, anointing inaleta opposition na anointing ina attract by the way na ina attract watu wote watu wa kukopos na watu wa kukusupport that's who kimwagiri wa mafuta don't expect kila mtu kusupport no kuna watu ambao watakusupport na kuna watu ambao watakuopos that's why even time sauri alimwagiri wa mafuta kuna watu ambao alimpea gifts na kuna watu ambao they were trouble makers wali mudharao wakaona yeye ni bure hawakumpea kitu manaka anybody operating with the anointing of god Ehe. na yote ambayo nalisikiza kila mtu ana mafuta kwa area yake kama pastor su hapa aka kwa cancer kila mtu na area yake hiyo mafuta lazima itakuwa na opposition eh hey, na hiyo opposition don't forget this that's what we call mane mane ukiwa na mafuta lazima utaopoleg na mane mane <laughs> ah this one is very interesting remember time Jesus Christ alizaliwa aliletewa mane mane get this very important aliletewa mane mane time ya kifo chake aliletewa mane mane so Jesus Christ aliletewa mane mane wakati alizaliwa na wakati alikufa akaletewa mane mane get that Let me ask you something. Do you know the story? Do you know the story of Esther? Esther Kubaibo is a very interesting character. Very interesting character. Remember, remember, nisikize, remember. Remember Esther, Bible na someone magani before akutane na king, before akuwe queen. Lazima angeenda kwa nyumba ya mtu ambaye anaitwa Hegai. Follow me now. Alienda kwa mtu ambaye anaitwa Hegai first. Hegai first. Alafu akapoa maiden saba ambao watakuwa na muangalia. Vizuri sana. For one full year before the year came fike appear before the king apart a favor. So lazima angekuwa under the care of Hegai. Okay. Then made in Saba Hega he pictures the Holy Spirit. Made in Saba na picture the seven spirit. Then walikuwa na mpaka mafuta ina mbili. Miezi sita ya kwanza walikuwa na mpaka mane mane. <laughs> Alafu miezi sita ya pili mafuta yananukia vizuri. So before anukia vizuri, before ukutana na Esther kwa barabara, usikia kwamba ananukia vizuri. Esther aliadago stage ya mane mane. Na anybody before ufikie stage ya kuwa trot lazima utafikia watu wanakuwa pose kuna battles zinakuja kwako that one does not mean ya kwamba god is not caring for you ah uh-uh. ah it is a stage it is a level lazima upitie ale mambo that's why esther 
alipakwa mafuta ya ma fast mane mane before apakwe ile inanuka vizuri and the problem of us tunapenda mafuta ambayo inanuka vizuri bali hapa kwa tu issues hapa kwa battles tunaogopa sana tunatoroka sana mafuta ya Mungu yana attract at battles yana attract opposition That's why Bible inasema kwamba wa Fristi walipojua kwamba David amepakwa mafuta walimkibiza na kumtafuta hawakuwa na mtafuta before mwagiriwa mafuta walimtafuta time walimwagiriwa mafuta let me tell you kuna watu ambao wataanza kukuinukia wakati umepata biashara are you hearing me kuna watu ambao wataanza kutafuta wakati umeolewa before whatever they were not against you before when they inje they were not against you hey Baro wakati baba amekumwagiria mafuta. Baro wakati Mungu ameanza kukuinua. Utaona kwamba kuna watu wanakuinukia. Hiyo ndiyo ninaita ma mane mane simurina. Glory be to Jesus. Haraka unisikize. I don't miss this one. <coughs> eh hey, usika gani hakuna shortcut. Kuna watu ambao wanapenda hiyo. Baro hawapendi. Nionyesha watu kwa Bible ambao wamenda tu level ya juu. Bila kupitia vita talk about Joseph. That's it. Alipitia mambo mazito sana. Alienda kwa pit. Akaenda kwa prison before enda kwa palace. If unanisikiza ndio unapitia mambo magumu. If unanisikiza na watu wanakuinukia. Let me tell you, lazima uta experience mane mane in your life. <laughs> lazima Lazimo wakati mwingine uta experience mambo ni mazito. Na hiyo haimaanishi kwamba Mungu amekuacha no. Haimaanishi kwamba umetenda dhambi no. Hapana. Nani alisema kwa sababu tu wanapitia mambo mazito ati sasa hapana. Kadiri aniambia kwamba si rahisi. <laughs> you need to need, let me tell you something about ma. Na kuna mambo kadhaa nataka before ni chambua hili kanisa. Na ni kuendesha mambo kadhaa ambayo unafaa ku understand. Lakini kuonyesha mambo kadhaa ya ma vile ambayo ilikuwa inatumika. Kwa Bible. Nimesema number one, ma means bitter. Ma means bitter. Okay. Ma means to be strong. Ma means to be strong. Can you imagine? Mambo ambayo ni bitter kwako. Do you anasifanya ukuwe na nguvu kwako? Ha <laughs> Ah, wakati kuna vita hiyo ndio time unapata nguvu zaidi. Usaisoma second Samuel chapter number 3 and verse number 1. Mbona nasema kwamba kulikuwa na vita nyuma ya Sauli na nyumba ya Daudi zilikuwa zinapigana. Imagine. Nyumba ya Sauli na nyumba ya Daudi zilikuwa zinapigana. Na Bible inasema kwamba the more walikuwa wanapigana the more Daudi alikuwa anapata nguvu. Maana kwa wakati unapitia vita haitakuacha ile level ulikuwa itakupeleka tu haya level. Let me ask you. Laino dunia yote kuna vita ya covid. That's it. Kenya tuko already tuko karibu kuonga 3000. Watu ambao ni positive. Divyo tunaambiwa. So kuna mambo kama haya. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Uh, let me ask you this. Right now in covid, every imagine imesaidia watu kupata nguvu. Umegru sana. Na niliambia watu umejuana kupitia kwa hii covid. <laughs> Institution. Kuna watu ambao watatoka kwa hii covid wakiwa mapastors. <laughs> Kuna watu ambao watakuwa wadhiristi. Kuna watu ambao watakuwa walimu wa neno after this. Meaning tunapitia mambo magumu, but haya mambo magumu yamefanya ukuwe na nguvu. And I want to declare tonight, bila uoga, haya mambo magumu unapitia. Eh hayata kumaliza bali instead yanakusaidia upate nguvu. That's why the name mama na mama ina maana mbili. Inamaanisha namna gani? Inamaanisha mambo chungu na inamaanisha nguvu. Maana kama mababo ni chungu yanakupea nguvu. Can you hear me? Mababo ni chungu yanakupea nguvu. Yes, are you hearing me now? Hata ikiwa unainukiwa biashara, hayo mambo yanakaa hivyo. 
Ah! Hata mambo yakiwa chungu yatakupea nguvu. Utatoka hapo na nguvu. Alikiwa laino hauna pesa. Let me tell you, through that utatoka na nguvu. Manake watu wengi sana wanaomba wakati wana pesa. Watu wengi sana tafuta Mungu wakati wana pesa. Thank God for that. Let me tell you something. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Kila mtu hapa, kila mtu hapa, kila mtu huwa anajua hana na penina. That's it. The, no, the more penina alikuwa na provoke hana, the more hana alikuwa naomba. Can I tell you? After hana kubarikiwa, Bible haiongei tena juu ya penina. And then hatuoni hana akiomba vile alikuwa naomba. And that's why and that's why get this now and that's why kusoma kwa Bible utakuta kwamba hana alipata watoto wengine. Hey. Bale mia stu do you know their names? Ana tujui. Wale wanafikiria kwamba hana alipata Samuel tu. Eh, hey. pa Samuel I know umepitia hapo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Lazima u grow. We grow through adversities. We advance through adversities. Yes, thank you. Kuna watu ambao wanapenda resorts. Hawapendi process. But let me tell you kuna process. And mark this, kuna process. Whether when we budge, whether when ni nani, ara ukimba nyimbo, u shoot. Before you pity your process, lazima uonde utapitia process. <laughs> Na process hii nzuri, process kuna kufinywa, unatengenezwa. That's why binasema kwamba God is a potter. Remember the reason why mm, the reason why wanapitia haya mambo they were being tested. Yale madharibu yanakuja were being tested. Are you going to stand firm? Bara atakuwa chokuwa na nguvu. Ah, this one is very very interesting and you must hear this you must hear this you must hear this that's why ukisoma kwa bible ukisoma kwa bible joseph alikuwa na dream na mungu amemnenea but before it me <laughs> Uh, the Bible says the word of God tested him in the book of Psalms. The word of God tested Joseph. By the way, the word of God tested Joseph ni through watu. Wala watu wa Mungu kuna muinukia. The word of God was testing at other stand firm na kile Mungu aliongea. Na kuna watu wa Mao right now kile unapitia you are being tested. Na nimekuja kukuambia stand firm unatoka pale na nguvu. Stand firm unatoka pale na levo yako iko imeshoot. Unatoka pale ukuwa na another level of glory. Jesus Christ wakati alienda kwa jangwa kujaribiwa, alikuwa full of the spirit. Wakati alikuwa anatoka kwa jangwa, hakutoka akiwa full of the spirit too. Ah ah. Baada ya kwamba alitoka kwa jangwa after temptation, alitoka with the power of the Holy Spirit. Ariana akiwa na full akatoka in the power maana kaza way aliingia ay 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 tofauti watu wengi sana watakuambia so nimekuja kunenea watu na kutia watu nguvu yale mambo unapitia si ya kukuangamiza ah yanakuletea nguvu maana kaza same name ma means strong mm, those things are making you strong you need to understand that <laughs> so listen to me now. Listen to me now. So ma in the Bible days was very very important. And I believe that's why this church imeitwa ma. Fasi nasimamia sufferings. But now the name ma mane mane ilikuwa inatumika kwa kazi kadhaa. Nataka ni highlight kwako ujua kwamba ni muhimu sana. You need to understand this. <laughs> number one, number one, number one. Ma in the Bible days. It was to make to kill germs. To kill germs. To kill germs. Mark mark that. To kill germs. Ma was used to kill germs. 
So if kuna mahari we mwenyewe, maybe umekatwa, ukiwekwa ma ili kuwa na germs. <laughs> so ni vyema and that's why belief. That's why belief. That's why ma ili kuwa natumika kwa anointing oil. Maana ukimwajiriwa, germs zote, mara hata mambaya, kile kiko against you, ma inakusaidia to kill germs. Manaka the anointing ilikuwa na ma na anointing inakusaidia to kill germs. That's it. Germs zote sio tu physical mpaka any evil spiritual. Ma inasaidia kuondoa. So although unafinywa still inaondoa germs. So that's why you need ma. Manaka inaondoa germs. Ma inaondoa germs. Number two. Ma ilikuwa ilikuwa inasaidia namna gani as a stimulant stimulant helps to develop inasaidia ku develop very very important that's why ni muhimu sana number three. ilikuwa inatumika as a preservative to embalm kuondoa harufu mbaya as a preservative ilikuwa inaondoa harufu mbaya <laughs> That's why ina embalm kuondoa harufu mbaya. Hebu imagine if kuna harufu mbaya ya rejection you need ma. If kuna harufu mbaya eh kila mahali ukienda kwamba watu hawakukubali you need ma. Na mali kuna tumika kwa embalm kuondoa harufu mbaya. That's why ma is very important. Very important. Still ma ile kuna tumika to relieve pain to relieve pain if umekatwa mahali umwagiriwe ma hiyo pain ilikuwa naisha every morning bado ma inakusaidia kuondoa pain and that's why brief ilikuwa ni part ya anointing oil kati ya zile component tano ma ilikuwa inatumika pale maana inaondoa pain Ma ilikuwa inazuiria watu. <laughs> Wasipata ku breed sana if umekatwa. Alafu mwagiriwe ma hiyo breeding ilikuwa ina stop. So ma ilikuwa inatumika to stop breeding. Si unaona ni muhimu sana to stop breeding, very very important. And that's why Jesus Christ kwa msalaba alikataa ma. Manake inge stop breeding. Na lazima damu ingemwagika. Manake hiyo damu ilikuwa inahitajika. Kwa kusamehewa kwa dhambi zetu. So that, that's why hili kanisa tumesoma mahali hapa. Linaitwa Simurina o ma o mane mane. Na so mimi nakomba ni vyema sana niguzie haya mambo nimeguzia about mane mane. But now look at this. Look at this now. Angalia verse number 8. Bali nasema kwamba to the church to the angel of the church in Simurina. Mhm. Right. This time is the first and the last who died and came to live again. Wanaambia kwamba yule ambaye anamwandikia ni yule ambaye alikufa na akafufuka kwa ajili yenu. Remember pale pale Simurina kulikuwa na miungu ilikuwa inabudiwa. Na ilikuwa inabudiwa twice per year. Why twice? Siku ya kufa na kufufuka. Maana kulikuwa na mimi kwamba hiyo miungu ilikufa na ikafufuka. Bara hapa Yesu Kristo anakuja. Anaambia kwamba that's wrong doctrine. Mimi Jesus mimi namwandikia hii barua ni mimi tu nilikufa na nikafufuka ah sio hiyo miungu ni mimi nilikufa nikafufuka that's why namwandikia barua hiyo miungu anasema ilikufa kafuka haiwezi andika barua haiwezi sema kitu that's why nimetumana nimesema kwamba muandikiwe manake i am the resurrection i am live now nimefufuka So vile alikuwa anaambia ni maana gani? Nimekufa kwa ajili ya dhambi zenu na nimefufuka so that you may be justified. Na wale ambao wanisikiza na rao nisikize. The Bible says through the death of Jesus Christ, death of Jesus Christ in repair dhambi. Resurrection in a justification. 
So kifo cha Yesu Kristo kinalipia tambi. Ufufuo unaleta justification. So walikuwa na Bwana mwana gani? I paid for your sins. My resurrection you are justified. And that's why it you coke. Okay. Baba nasema kwamba you believe the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you believe the justification. The justification. Then you confess the lordship of Jesus and you are saved. Na anybody about any skis and had your coke and skis. Jesus Christ died for your sins. The bizako zimeripiwa. Are you hearing me? Bible has said the bizako zitaripiwa zitakuja kulipiwa. No. There is no other sacrifice in Atolewa. The bizako ziriripiwa past tense. Ziriripiwa zote ziriripiwa. Ah, na sio hivyo. Get this. Huo tunasema as long as mtu wa koko prison na ameshiku kwa maana yeye ni mwizi na amefungwa for three years. As long as ako koko prison hajamaliza kifungo. Bali time atafunguliwa tunasema kwamba amemaliza kifungo naye Jesus anasema namna gani kwa hili kanisa ya kwamba I am the one ambaye sasa alikufa na kafufuka meaning nimemaliza kulipia dhambi zenu ufufuo wangu unaleta justification ah na kuna watu mpaka wa leo wanajaribu kulipia dhambi zao and what to declare this awezi ripia dhambi zako maombi hayawezi ripia dhambi <laughs> no 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 na unisikize repentance hayawezi ripia dhambi the wages of sin is not repentance the wages of sin is not confession the wages of sin is death You must understand Jesus Christ died na kalipa so kama kemas dhambi zangu zimeripiwa my past my present and my future sins zimeripiwa because if my future sins azijaripiwa nani atakuja kulipia na kile kinalipia dhambi ni kifo not only that amefufuka is a sign ya kwamba amemaliza hiyo kitu so if kuna mahali kuna lipishwa ni kama kuanduka kuna deni yangu nilikuwa nafa nilipe then jesus christ akaja akalipa so ananiambia kevas nimelipa deni niamini so anybody hearing my voice nimekuja kusema kwamba deni ko imelipwa kubali Yesu ni amelipa deni amini hivyo ukiamini hivyo unaokoka case closed mashaka tarama koza that's what anaambia namna gani anaambia ni yeye amefufuka na leo nimekuja kuambia watu Yesu Kristo amefufuka what is the meaning of that Romans 4 Romans 4 don't miss this one Romans 4 Romans chapter number 4 Romans chapter number 4 don't miss this one Romans chapter number 4 and verse 25 uh, Romans 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 4:25 Romans 4:25 The Bible says he was delivered over to death for my sins <laughs> and was raised to life for our justification for our justification get that that's what we say wakati we believe jesus unakuwa justified in your spirit justified in your spirit so what you need now it is a continual renewal continue renewal to say kwamba tumeokoka we are saved we are saved get that but we also been saved tumeokoka spirit zetu zimekuwa justified but soro zetu zinakuwa <laughs> Sat five days we have been saved kwa soul but you are waiting salvation mili yetu the salvation we are waiting ni mili yetu kubadilishwa the salvation about it take place ni mazo yetu kubadilishwa the salvation about it may take place ni mio yetu imebadilishwa are you hearing me spirit yako imekuwa changed you are new creation in your spirit you are just fighting in your spirit that's it But it's still <laughs> but it's still right now there is another salvation taking place in your soul you are being satisfied through the word the more you listen to this word the more you hear this word the more you're being changed kwa mawazo yako that's what tunasema kwamba repentance is the change of mind maana it is an issue there is a resurrection of Jesus Christ in a letter justification 
That's why Bible says, "Makomba, we believe there is a resurrection. We believe there is a resurrection. We believe that justification. You are being justified. Una fani kaka mamto mae hada wa ifanya tambi. You don't do to be righteous. You believe. You believe to be righteous. Nisikize. After believing to be righteous, now you do. We believe first. Then unanza kufanya. Hey. Rakote rema zata mazota. Hey. I want to declare this. I want to declare this. Yeyo tebada nisikiza na hauja okoka. What let me tell you. Ata ku hauja okoka. Kenis. Dabi zako zimeripiwa. <laughs> Umesamehe wa kwa msaraba and that's so watu wa hawaje okoka that's why wataenda hell there is on why wataenda hell si kwa sababu haja samehewa ni kwa sababu ulikataa kuamini ile kazi ilifanywa pale maana ukiamini the forgiveness of sin then unakuwa justified they have been forgiven but hawaje receive that forgiveness that mio, mio yao the meaning they are not justified they are not justified That's why we are in the hell. Our Jesus are kufa. Woo! Na kafufuka. So naongea juu ya Jesus ambaye amekufa. Ah! Hivyo ndivyo walikuwa naambia lile kanisa. Wanaambia kwamba hiyo miungu wanasema ati ilikufa na ikafuka sio hiyo ni mimi. Na let me tell you, Jesus amekufa na kafufuka. <laughs> ah Pastor John Blessed praise God. <laughs> God bless you Pastor John Blessed wa sisi CFF hapa umoja. Naangu nisikize. Na hapa ndipo problem watu wanakosa kuelewa. Ukiokoka, ukiokoka unakuwa justified kwa your spirit. Unapokea new spirit, regenerated in your spirit. Get that. Then unapokea holy spirit in your spirit. But sura yako hayokoki inaendelea kuokoka dili. Are we together? Through the hearing of the word, inakuwa sanctified, inakuwa renewed through the knowledge. That's why even after kuokoka, you need to listen to the word of God. Na hapa ndipo shetani anaingilia kati, anaweza funga mawazo yako, anaweza funga mwili wako. Sababu so even kuokoka spirit yako, sura yako inahitaji the word. Na ningesema kwa mada you need kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Roho Mtakatifu control your spirit, a control your soul. And also your body. Na hapo ndipo unakuta kwamba tunaombea watu, hatuombei kwa sababu hawajaokoka, tunaombea kwa sababu soro zao. Kuna mambo yanahitajika kufanyika pale. Ah. He is a resurrection. Are we together? Na hapo ndipo watu ambao wanaamini kwamba wameokoka. Hiyo imeisha. They don't need anything else. The problem of that ni kwamba they don't understand kuna spirit, kuna soul na kuna body. After now, the issue now is a soul. Inahitaji renewal daily daily. Vile unasikiza neno hapa daily kuna renewal. Unakuwa bora renewed daily soul. Na sasa unaweza sikia kwamba umeokoka bari still unafikiria mawazo mabaya umeokoka bari still pornography na kufuata why soul very very important very very important Hallelujah so let's go back to revelation there let me show you something Alisema kwamba mimi nimekufa I am the first and the last Eh hey, some of prosperity I agree with you the problem about tulikuwa nayo ni kwamba wakati tuliokoka tukufundishwa hivi That's why so many people today they are struggling hawajui kile wanafaa kufanya hawajui vile wana repent Are we together That's why repentance is the repentance is the issue of the soul metanoia change of mind maana mind yako inaweza fungwa mapepo kitaka kwa attack yana attack you are by this kumoja tukuja hapa kufundisha the spiritual man the spiritual man man you need to understand the spiritual man how we don't now operate na your spirit and that's why watu wa bonwa kingdom ya giza watu kingdom ya giza wana what we call austral projection austral projection wanaweza hata mwili hapa roho yao iende nigeria 
Get that. Maana kuna jua kwamba mwili na spirit imekuwa connected na kauzi kanaitwa silver cord as long as silver cord haijakatika huyo mtu anaweza enda ine huwa na spirit yake hata mwili hapa that's what we call astral travel wana astral project na wana travel wanaenda spirit zao zina travel that's why unaweza sikia kwamba kuna watu wanatumia watu sio mapepo human spirit na kuchapa kuna tofauti watu ambao wanapigwa na mapepo na watu ambao wanapigwa na human spirit unaweza sikia kwamba kuna mtu ambaye anakuja kwa nyumba yako spiritually anakupiga anakupiga ye mwenyewe na spirit yake na hiyo sio pepo ni spirit yake ame outro project amekuja na kuchapa na mara mingi sana ukiingia kwa nyumba ufiri kwamba kuna uoga mara mingi sana if una dina hizi vita huwa mara mingi sana ni human spirit iko kwa hiyo nyumba ah ha have come to declare to you this Jesus Christ himself he is the alpha and omega yeye yeah, ameanzisha kazi njema kwako ni ataimaliza ni ye mwanzo na ni ye mwisho chochote ameanzia rari nganga nisikize chochote ameanzia hakita koma katikati <laughs> Master John blessed <laughs> John blessed Master John blessed ananiambia kwamba wanachukua ile basi nasema kwamba yes we are new creation in our spirit the bible says them that are born of the spirit they are spirit and we are one in Christ in spirit That's why if if umekuwa if umekuwa kiumbe kipya sorrow spirit na body meaning awezi tenda dhambi tena hivyo ni creation sorrow spirit na body so unafuata wanda sana hapa vile pastor John Barisa anasema kwamba lazima tuanda sana spirit yako ndio inafanywa upya get that sorrow yako inahitaji kila siku kuwa renewed through the word through the word renewed even even though you born again is about your spirit hapo lazima uelewe sababu watu wana sababu kama eh hey, pepo haziko zilienda nisikize nisikize if pepo zilienda magonjwa yanatoka wapi get this maneke mungu haleti magonjwa <laughs> anakubarisha ya kuje to be tested nisikize maria haleti magonjwa maneke there is no why jesus christ alikuja alikuja kuondoa magonjwa na aliondoa so hawezi ondoa So sababu ya kuondoa ilikuwa nini? That's why today people have been oppressed. Wanahubiriwa gospel nusu. But tonight Tonight that's why we need the truth. In a change mawazo. Case closed. Jesus Christ had repaired dhambi. Wewe hauwezi repair dhambi. Wewe hauwezi repair dhambi. Ah uh-uh. ah ato kigaragara huwezi ripia dhambi ziriripiwa you need to brief only that that's why alikumbusha kwamba yeye yeah, alikufa na alifufuka ya kwamba alikufa akalipia dhambi akafufuka for justification that's a message to us that's a message to us we need to understand that very very important now look at this now next verse verse 9 anasema namna gani I know your afflictions. I know your afflictions and your poverty. Get this now. I know your afflictions. Mungu alikuwa ananenea kanisa la Simurina. Anasema kwamba najua yale matatizo mnapitia. And tonight I feel ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wanahitaji hili neno. Ya kwamba yale mambo unapitia Mungu anayajua. Zile vitu unapitia my sister Mungu anajua. The battles ambazo unapigana nazo Mungu anajua God knows So kanisa la Simurina nimesema kwamba that is on how walikuwa napitia battles Ni kwa sababu kulikuwa na problem lazima wageni na mia empara Kadis bado walikataa na ukinamia empire ni sikizo ukimuita Mungu na ukimchomea uvumba ulikuwa napewa certificate once per year unapewa certificate ya cooperate nayo mwaka ukienda kina mahali una produce that certificate unasema kwamba nime nimechoma uvumba kwa ajili ya empire Gadis 
unaenda unaonyeshana usipoonyeshana kile ambacho kina happen kwako hautakubalishwa mambo hautakubalishwa kufanya kazi ni kama vile kuliko kuna letwa hii vaccine ili watu sasa kufika time wape certificate ID 20 ambao imekansuliwa haina nguvu ndivyo ulikuwa ndivyo kuliko kunafanyika pale lazima ungekuwa na certificate ya kwamba umeinamia empara na ukikataa kuinamia empara ulikuwa unateswa ulikuwa unaingizwa mahali kuko na simba zinakukura ulikuwa unawekwa kwa mti nikasema kwamba pasta pasta wa hii church alikuwa anaitwa Polycarp yeye aliwekwa kwa mti na kachomwa but still god akinenea hili kanisa anasema kwamba ijapokuwa mnapitia mambo mazito i know your frictions mama nisikize god knows your frictions we are going through mungu anajua kwamba kuna covid si ati kwamba mungu hajui Anakuna mtu alinibia pasa tumeomba sana bwana haijaenda. Nikamwambia God knows. Anataka tuendelee kuomba. Anataka do seek to seek the mercies of God. He knows. Are you hearing me? Wewe mbona unanisikiza na ni mgonjwa kwa kitanda? God knows you are sick. Wewe hauna pesa. God knows hauna pesa. Wewe hauna pesa kulipa nyumba. I have this food for you. God knows that. He told the church of Simurina I know you are frictions. Ah. But then is kize napenda sana vile babu anasema kwa King James. Napenda vile King James imeitoa nataka nikusomee uone. Maneka hii word kuna watu ambao right now walikuwa na give up. Kuna watu ambao walikuwa na give up na wanaona kama Mungu amewaacha. But God knows your frictions. He knows all of them. Anajua. <laughs> Anajua vile umeinukiwa na vile umetengwa. Na umesimama na umekuwa kifunga na umesimama na utakatifu. Ah, anajua the reason why hiyo job uliyemwa hautaingia. Ni kwa sababu ulikataa kurara na boss. Ukanyimwa hiyo job. Anajua. Na unisikize afadhali unyimwe job na usirare na boss. Kwa sababu the time utarara na boss umeleza na the demonic altar lazima utai maintain atakuwa na kuridhiriten anakuambia lazima ulae na mimi tena umeitain job baba kifungua mlango matis hakuna atakayefunga na kifunga hakuna atakayefungua and my bible tells me mbele yangu ameweka milango imefunguka na akisema tena mbele yako atafungua milango ataifungua he promised to Cyrus and he did it He is the same God. Be strong. Usikufa moyo. Ai. Wacha nitie nguvu mtu hapa. Mungu anajua. Rejino idaka God no. Na kani kuonesha kitu hapa. Tumikia Mungu nisikize. Hakuna mahali Mungu amesema kwamba limetenda dhambi. Halikuwa na rebuke hata moja na halikuwa na pesa hali na pesa ilikuwa ni kanisa maskini kanisa haliwezi fanya kitu that's it afflictions na Mungu anajua mpaka wao ni maskini mimi hata time hauna pesa god knows yes sister karo at time unalia he knows that ah jesus thank you Thank you for this. Thank you for this. He knows that. Aya, aya, aya. Naraga unisikize, anajua. Naraga unitege hapa vizuri sana. This one is very important. Bono this one is very important. Alikuwa haujaolewa. Si eti Mungu hajui haujaolewa. Anajua haujaolewa. Anajua that anaelewa kila kitu Na listen to me now nataka unisikize I know you are tribulations Mungu hajasema kwamba hautapitia tribulations Ah uh-uh. ah Maana anasema kwamba be of good cheer ni me overcome 
those liberations. So the victory of Jesus Christ is your victory. So unafa, unafa, una rest ko victory of Jesus Christ. The victory of Jesus Christ is your ground. Get this now. The victory of Jesus Christ is your ground. So unafa, una rest ko victory of Jesus. Ujo koma Jesus Christ defeated death. He defeated kile kina kusumua. He defeated poverty. He defeated stagnation. Unafa, una rest there. Manaka nasoma koma be of good cheer. Ah, that one, that one tribulation there, that one tribulation there means what? The Greek word tribulation there means what? To bear a burden that crashes or to be under intense pressure. Ni mzigo unakuta kama umebeba mzigo, bali ule mzigo hauwezi. Unakushinda nguvu. That's the meaning of the word tribulation there. So mungu sema kwamba najua tribulation zenu affliction zenu anasema kwamba najua unabeba mzigo unakushinda nguvu I know kuna watu usiku wale kuna mizigo wamebeba inawashinda nguvu <laughs> Mungu anaongea hivyo But mark this Mark this vile na Naraka unitegee hapa vile anawaambia <laughs> na joko hata nyinyi ni maskini but nyinyi ni tajiri. <laughs> so hawana pesa kwa sababu hawapati pesa kwa maana hawana certificate. Na na wacha na wacha hii nitamke hapa. Let me, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Wa Kristo we don't fight for victory. We don't fight the the, the 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 battle or the the, the 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 battle of faith or the fight of faith to win no we don't fight for victory we fight from victory we fight from victory na wala bomi ni fuatilie nilisema kuna tofauti nataka unisikie kuna tofauti hii moja bwana sema kwamba thank god than than be to Jesus Christ ambaye anataongoza kwenye pro, pro <laughs> triumphal procession it is good kwa kacha ya kwa kacha ya ki, ya ki greek kuna vile walikuwa wanafanya haya mambo mkienda kwa vita mkipigana na taifa fulani na adui fulani mkiwashinda sasa mnaenda kwa uwaja sasa mnakuwa na procession right now mna enjoy ile mari mmepokea mwapokonya hiyo procession after victory now hiyo procession now ya kutriumph mliko mna enjoy ile mari mmepokea shoshoto mmepokea hiyo ndio baba anasema kwamba Jesus Christ anatuongoza kwa hiyo kwa maana alishinda pale so we fight kujua kwamba tume win the battle alikuwa anapigana na uchao na jukumu ume win the battle alikuwa kuna mtu ambaye na Qur'an na jukumu ume win the battle hata ukipigana you already have the victory maneke Christ is your victory mm. glory be to Jesus glory be to Jesus glory be to Jesus So you are already a winner. <laughs> you are a winner and have mentality. Yakoba you are a winner. That's it. Out of Shindwa. No 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 no, you are born to win. You are born excuse me. You are born to win because you are born of God and God is a winner. Very important. Very very important. But now e point nyingine ni kali sana. E point nyingine ni kali. Na ninataka nikuambie e point nyingine ni kali sana. Bible inasema hivi, I know your tribulations. Then I know your poverty. But I come back I know you are rich. E poverty metajwa ni kwa sababu hawana kitu, hawana pesa. But you tajiru metajwa, they are rich in God. Na kana kusoma in the book of Luke 21. Look uh, Luke 12:21. Luke 12:21. Luke 12:21. Luke 12:21. Luke 12:21. Luke 12, Don't miss this one. Luke 12:21. 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 Luke 12:
Luke 12, 21. This one is very interesting. Luke 12, then 21. Baba nasema kwamba kuna mtu mmoja Jesus Christ akapeana parabo. Mimi nasema kwamba kuna mtu mmoja <laughs> akwamba alipata harvest kubwa sana. Harvest kubwa sana. Then mimi nasema kwamba yeye mwenyewe kwa sababu amepata utajiri kwa sababu kile atafanya. Ni kwamba atapanua gara zake, atapanua mahali anaweka kila kitu, atapanua. Naambi ya roho yake soro yake ikedi sasa na ikure Bali kusoma sasa hii verse nataka kusomea Kuna kitu ambacho nao get this now Jesus aliongea kwa that parable Let me start verse 19 And I will say to my soul Can you hear that Anaongea na soro yake will say to my soul So Thou has much goods laid up for many years. Take the ease, eat a drink and marry. Ana mali yake. Shaba imetoa. Ana panua kupanua. Kambia sura yake aketi sasa. Sura yake inenea aketi sasa ukure sasa. Maneke umejiwekea mpaka miaka mingi sana. Then look at this. But God said unto him, Thou fool. Akaitu a fool. Nisikize akaitu a fool. Na nisikize, get this now. Aja ito fool kwa sabo mepata utajiri. Kwa mana kupata utajiri si dambi. Can you hear me? Kupata utajiri si dambi. Mara metosheka menenea sore yake nao. Mimi ya ito shakira inao. Ikedi sasa ikure. Then madness. Duangeli the problem. Ah, verse 21 do you nataka sasa? Mungu akamuita fool. 20. This night, this night, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou has provided? Ambia usiku leo sore yako inahitajika. Alikuwa anambia sore iketi kure. Wasema kwamba tonight sore yako inahitajika. You a fool. Kamuita fool. Ewe ni mpumbavu. Unatosheka na himari. Kwa nini? Kwa nini ameita mpumbavu? Angalia verse 21. So is he. So is he. That laid up treasure. So is he. That laid up treasure for himself. And is not rich toward God. So kuna tofauti ya kutajirika hapa na mali ya hapa. Na kuna tofauti kutajirika toward God. Are you rich in God? Or you are rich in a pesa? Ame ito fool wa sababu. Ame lay up treasure for himself. Na wanda babu na sama koba. Treasure yako wire mpaka heaven. That's why it is very important. Wakati mungu mekumarike support kazi ya mungu. Manake when the time una support. Treasure yako na wire heaven. Uyo metosheka, hana kitu na itaji Hame sama sani takura Hana mali ya meka mingi Haka ito a fool Kwa mana yes, itajiri toward God Let me ask you Are you rich in God? Uyo mitajirike na pesa Kutajirike na pesa ni vuzuri sani skize Kena is good It is biblical it is in accordance with the word of God. Manake we need money to preach the gospel. Kama sayo na nifotiri kwa sabu maweka ya time. But you need to be rich in God. My question is, are you rich in God? Because if you are not rich in God, Bible ina kuita fool. Are you rich in God? Simulina hawa kwa na pesa, but they were rich in God. I know when I say, Nuriza, pastor, pastor, what is the meaning of that? Follow me closer now. But I can do happen to people who are doing sana watakwama. Nivyema sana watakitajirika. Hapa. And that's what we saw, Paul and John, and we saw, you are so a prosper. Now prosper. Paka mariyako. U prosper nani? Now prosper inje. U prosper inje. Ukosa kuprospendani. Na usprospendani ukosa inje. 
Very important. Very, very important. Look at this now. Let's kiss the sasa. I like this one. First Timothy chapter number six. First Timothy chapter number six, verse 17. First Timothy chapter number six, verse 17. Command those. Get this now. Command those who are rich in this present age. Get this now. Not be haunted or trust in uncertain riches. Get this now. But in the living God. Ukipata pesa. Usi trust pesa zako. Trust God. Usi yona kwamba mwezi utaisho kwa sabu na pesa. Get that. It's good to have money. But Paul yona nenea timo the first timo the six, seventeen. Command those who are rich in this present age. Command them. They have been commanded. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haunted, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, but in the living God. Our faith could trust in the riches when our faith could trust in God. Who gives us richly all things to enjoy? <laughs> Let them do good. Let them do good. That they may be rich in good works. Can you hear that? What we rich in good works. So there's a quote I chili na mienendo matendo mazuri. Utajiri wako na utumia kwa ile jia inafaa. Then you are rich in God. Ready to give, willing to share. Storing up for themselves a good foundation for time to come. And they may lay hold on eternal life. Wanabuwa kumbwa wana pesa ni matajiri. Wana nafaa kumbwa. That's what Kanisa Resimurina. Walikuwa ni maskini. But matajiri kwa upanda wa mungu. Rich in God. Are you rich in God? Are you written God? Look at this now. James chapter number 2 verse 5. Listen my brother, bre beloved brethren. Has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith? To be rich in faith. To be rich in faith. kimani. Be rich in faith. Mungu ametegua watu ambao ni maskini duniani hawana kitu bara wakawa matajiri they are rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom of God which he promised to those who love him we are supposed to be rich in faith rich in love rich in good works of sharing what we have Hivyo ndivyo kanisa la Simulina walikuwa maskini but matajiri ni matajiri upande wa Mungu Very very important Very very important Now look at this Hey what about the life of Moses Moses kuna kitu aliongea akasema Very very important Wacha ni rudio hiyo verse James 2 Verse 5. James 2 verse 5. Listen my beloved. Blessing. Has gone on to them. So thank you. Feel it. Some of you verse hapo. Very important. <laughs> Very important. So angalia Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11, Hebrews chapter number 11, verse 24. Hebrews 11, verse 24. Hebrews 11, 24. Babu na samamu na gani? Hebrews 11, 24. By faith, by faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's own daughter. Arigata kuitua mtoto, binti yake Pharaoh. Choosing rather, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy woo, the passing pressures of sin. 
esteeming the rich, the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Are you not a deal you are Egypt? I was during a initial time and a pity about Mazito because of God. One you tajiri mkubwa. Moses said, I'm a father who tajirika upande wa Christo. Kuriko kutajirika upande wa kidunia. Na hako tajiri upande wa Christo. So his school is kids that could take both sides. Tadiri can a pepper and I get his Bible and to me a hidua and I declare me that be your portion. But in Viema Sana, Tadiri can hata kiroho. Tadiri can a maboya mungu. Tadiri can in your word of God. Jan and Orabona. Quat a jiri wa neno. Quat a jiri wa faith. Quat a jiri wa good works. Quat a jiri wa upendo. Imagine. Hey, glory be to Jesus. What about you? What about you? So simu nina kama kwamba hawana pesa but ni tajiri upande wa Mungu. But now look at this. Look at this now. Ah, I know the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not. But they are synagogue of Satan. Get that? Kama yuko bana jua kuna watu ambao wanajifanya ni Wayahudi. Bali wao ni asembo ya shetani. Wana pretend. Wanasema kuna wale ba Mungu anasema kama na jua kuna wale ambao wanajifanya ni Wayahudi. Gadis. Bali si Wayahudi. Why? Maneka in those days. Kuna watu ambao walikuwa nainukia wa Kristo sana. Wayahudi kulikuwa na Jews. Wayahudi ambao walikuwa wanajifanya wanakubali vile Roma inasema they were against Christians but they were pretending still in Wayahudi. Walikuwa na support Rome. Wanapiga wa Kristo. Supporting Rome. Walikuwa wanapiga wa Kristo. So walikuwa wanajifanya kwamba ni Wayahudi. Mungu anasema kwamba they are synagogue. Synagogue means a symbol. Kwa Old Testament in order for a synagogue to a synagogue ni kama fellowships. Synagogue kwa Old Testament zili start na kina Zerubbabel. Pale Babylon. It is a synagogue ikuwe synagogue. Lazima ikuwe na wanaume kumi. And a synagogue without 10 men. Haikuwe na qualify kukuwa synagogue. So if hapa tuna wanaume kumi hapa na kaa. If ni those days tungia ndisha synagogue synagogue means assemble the greek word for the synagogue means assemble ni kama fellowship mna fellowship kuanzia wanaume 10 mnafundishwa sheria pale mwe sema kwamba hiyo 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 ni ushirika wa shetani imagine kuna ushirika mwe sema kwamba ni wa shetani maana it is not about me siko hapo ni shetani maana kwa wanajifanya ni wayahudi But see why Yahudi but let me tell you why Yahudi ni akina nani Look at this Romans 2 Angalia Romans 2 why Yahudi wa Jews wa kweli ni akina nani Romans 2 Romans 2 very very important Romans 2 don't miss this one verse 28 this one is very important Hey Wadiro Mwangi God bless you read inside out that one is powerful That's a word. Angalia hapa. Romans 2 Romans 2 28 Romans 2 28 Romans 2 28 Bible inasema namna gani? Mark this. Sana na kesa bwana ziwe sana. <laughs> A man is not a Jew, nisikize. A man is not a Jew if he is only one outwardly. Can you hear that? Bwana anasema kwamba mtu si muyahudi if he is ni moja nje tu. Akana. Circumcision merely outward and physical. Eh si muyahudi kwa sababu amezaliwa tu kuwa muyahudi na ametahiriwa nje. Mwanasema huyo si muyahudi. Ni Paulo anasema, anasema namna gani? Verse 29, Romans 2:29. Anasema namna gani? 
Ah, I like this one. I like this one. No, a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly. So when we are holding, if we are holding one, then it's in there. <laughs> we are holding you are done in sinche. Get that? Inwardly how? And circumcision. A circumcision of heart by the spirit. Not by the written code. Such as man praise. Man's praise is not from, is not from men but from God. Can you hear that? So you remember we are holding Jew. But so if metahiru hat you a Jew. So mbona nasema kwamba pale kwa revelation kuna pale kwenye simurina kuna watu mbona jifanya ni wayahudi bali si wayahudi why hawajatahiriwa kwa mioyo yao kwa sababu muyahudi wa kweli ni yule ametahiriwa ndani sio nje so ndani yao kuna problem wanajifanya nje maneno ya wa judaizers they were judaizers wana pretend maneno walikuwa na judaizers, judaizers. wanajifanya kwamba ni wayahudi nje but I'm going to they are not Jews. Why? Manaki yule babu Yahudi ni dani, ni moyo. Tunatahiriwa moyo. We change our hearts. That's what tukienda kwa baba tunaambia baba tubadilishie mioyo yetu baba. Baba ni tolea moyo wa hasira, moyo wa kutosamehe father. That's what Daudi alisema kwamba create in me a clean heart. Manaki manaki is a nation of heart. The Bible says the peace of God guards our heart. Bana sema kwamba guard your heart. Maana kuna issues of life. Kile ambacho umeweka ndani ya moyo wako ndicho mtu anaongea out of the abundance of the heart the mouth is speaking. It is about the heart. That's why Muyahudi ni ambaye ametahiliwa moyo wake. Kuna mama huwezi weka pale maana yake yametolewa. Umetahiliwa. That's a word. That's a word. Glory be to Jesus. Listen to this. Listen to this. And don't miss this one now. Watu ni kusome Romans 9. Don't miss this one Romans 9. Romans 9. Romans 9. Romans 9. Verse 6. Masikuna sema kwamba deep stuff right there. Yeah. Eh mio inabadilisho that's a thing. Angalia Romans 9 verse 6. Bwana sema kwamba it is not as though God's word had failed. Eh si eti na Mungu limefail hapana. For not all who are descended from Israel are Israel. Can you hear that? Not all who are descended of Israel are Israel. See what what any descendant of Israel born in Israel upon you can be descendant of Israel but you're not Israel. Did you remember when Hawaii? No because is a descendant are they all Abraham's children or on contrary it is through Isaac that you all spring will be reckoned. So see what what one is from Abraham. Amon what what Abraham upon Ndivyo baba nataka kutuonyesha. Azo hapo kuna mambo very deep itakuja kuongea one of these fine days. So kuna watu ambao pale wana pretend ni Wayahudi, bali si Wayahudi. Maana yake it is an issue of hard Judaizers. Walikuwa na ingilia Christians. That's the key is about the heart. Change the heart. Open heart. Heart to receive a heart that can obey. That's it. Very, very important. Look at this now. No, I said, Near the next point, I'm only very, very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. 
Look at this. Galatians 3. Wa Galatia. Galatians 3. 16. Galatians 3. 16. Galatians 3, 16. Bible na sumo na gani? Magdis. The promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. The scripture does not say to seeds, meaning many people, but to your seed, meaning one person, Christ. So in a promise, mungu kwa make kwa Abraham, at ya kwa seed. How kwa mebu kwa bata poa seeds? Prudo. But I see the singular Christ. So Abraham will come up Christ at Akuja. Meaning, since we are children of Abraham because of Christ. Since we are Yahudi Dani, it is the issue of heart. It is the issue of heart. Sio inje, Dani. That's why I find, see, when you shana inje, it is now start from inside out. Inside out. You change first. Kumadusho nani alafu inje. Very important. Hebu angani vile kanisa la simulima na bado liliambiwa. Very important. Na don't forget ni kanisa maro halina mahali. Lili kemewa na mungu. Hali kukemewa na mungu. Aa. Aa. Look at this. Verse 10. Do not be afraid of. Hey. Do not be afraid of what? You are about to serve. Can you hear that? Mungu na miyakomo, don't be afraid of what you are going to serve. Don't be afraid. Na yayote maya na nisikiza usiku waleo. This is your word. This is your word. Don't be afraid of what you are going to serve. Manaki in this world, lazima kutokuwa na sufferings. Lazima kutokuwa na tribulations. But don't be afraid of those sufferings. Don't be afraid of opposition. Don't be afraid of battles. Don't be afraid of witches and sorcerers and Masonic and Illuminati. Don't be afraid of what you're going to suffer. Don't be afraid of what you're going to suffer. Don't be afraid. Why? I tell you, the devil you put some of you in prison to test you. Imagine. Nada kunisikize ni Mungu anaongea anasema kwamba shetani atawaweka ah wengine wao kwa prison can you hear that ujue kwamba si shetani atawaweka ni maaskari watatumika ni watu watatumika washike pale wao waweke kwa prison but wanafanya kazi ya shetani mini even mpaka si kwa leo kuna watu ambao wanakuinukia but si wao ni shetani anafanya hiyo kazi ndani yao Kuna mtu baya na kutusi barisi yeye ni shetani very important get that and note that wanabu namna gani shetani ataweka wengine kwa prison now my question is if Mungu anaona haya mabo si age broke wawekwa kwa prison but how could broke wawekwa kwa prison maneke even Paul aliandika wa Filipi wa Efeso aliandika vitabu vingine akiwa kwa prison na wakati mwingine utajikuta kwa prison Gerard si eti kwamba Mungu hajui amekubarisha so nasema kwamba wengine wenu shetani atamweka kwa prison ya unaweza tukiwa bure my sister udharauliwe bure ikuwe ni prison ya kudharauliwa Na ni shetani mekueka. But remember siyo shetani likuwa naenda. Shetani natumia watu. Kuna watu wakini wanainukia your family and your business. Wakini wataki biyashare yako yendere. Wanaikemea, wanairani. Ni shetani anafanya hiyo kazi. But natumia watu. Hello. Pakamu kwamba. Shetani ataweka wengine wenu kwa prison to test you to test you to test you so there is on why we go through tribulations there is on why we face afflictions there is on why sometimes you are in prison you are being tested you are being tested your faith is being tested 
faith. Hello, somebody. Hey. Wakati Peter aliambia Jesus. Wakati sema kwa Jesus eti magoma atakufa na siku tatu atafufuka. Alisema hapana kusifanyika hivyo. Akaambia behind me Satan. Kwa sababu Jesus alikuwa kama huyo sio Peter ameongea, ni shetani ameongea. Mimi ni kuna mtu ambaye anaweza ongea kuwa si ameongea ni shetani. Si huyo mtu utakambia ni shetani. That's why kile ambacho tunafaa kuombea si wale watu tunafaa Qur'ani, ni shetani tunafaa kufukuza ndani yao ambao wanawatumia. Oh, hey. my good girl, don't miss this one. Kuna watu wanatumua na <laughs> Kuna watu wanatumua na shetani. Kufanyia watu mabaya na ni shetani anafanya through watu. Bali Mungu hakusema nisikize, Mungu amejua. Mungu amejua. But how come come how to break go prison? I'm some to break go prison to be tested. My brother is him who tested. Woo, but you know come who tested. Utatomoka kama God una shine. Utatomoka una shine after who tested. Eh, mtumisho Mungu asa ngendo. Sometimes come issues zingine zinakuja. They are battles. Una watando to my end you have been tested. Will you still remain firm? Unaweza kuwa Raina hauna pesa, you have been tested. Will you remain firm hata bila pesa? Unakuwa tested hata time utaolewa, utakubali kusherati au utakataa. You have been tested. Shetani anamweka kwa prison to test you. Let me tell you what you are going through uko kwa test na every test in a letter testimony i declare tonight in that test may you receive a testimony in Jesus mighty name wakambiwa i tell you the devil will put some of you in prison to test you and you will suffer persecution for 10 days you will suffer persecution for 10 days Are you hearing me utapata persecution wanaambiwa kwamba wataipata for 10 days so i napenda hiyo sana although ime, imeandikwa pale 10 days we are not 10 days hao nisikize si 10 days ilikuwa ni 10 years kuna wengine ambao wana theology wana interpreta nasema kwamba uh, inasimamia vyo kumi but the specific kwangu ina maanisha namna gani ni miaka kumi kwa sababu hivyo vilifanyika bali testiwa for 10 years 10 years meaning kila test ina expiry date Woo! na unisikize ukifele test lazima utai repeat let me just come again ukifele test lazima utai repeat Ndazo kuna watu ambao unasikia kwamba unakuta kama watu ambao walikuwa nakuinukia wanakuinukia for five years maana yake hiyo test how do i pass na Mungu anataka u pass that test so utaka hapo mpaka uipite usipoipita utaka hapo five years that's it lazima upite that test hapo na sio unasikia kama kuna watu wengi hapa na nifuatilie hata watu wengi wanakuta kama wanaota ndoto kila time wanafanya mtihani wanaaguka wanafanya mtihani wanaaguka Yes, more than the 10 days it was 10 years. Don't forget mpaka watu ambao tumwa spies, 12 of them, 10 watanta evil report. Wali walienda ku spy for 40 days. And then wakamwambia kwa sababu wameleta evil report, wamefeta test. Wakamwambia kwamba kila siku itakuwa mwaka. Wakamwambia kwamba watazunguka kwa jangwa for 40 years. I want to excuse may you pass that test with the fine caras in Jesus mighty name ile test unapitia may you pass that test manake usipoi pass utairudia nazo unakuta kwamba ni mtu mmoja tu huwa anakuinukia hiyo test how do i pass how do i pass 
Kuna pepo zingine today zinakuona zinakupigia saruti. Maana uli umepita hiyo test. Pepo zingine zifuguliza nao. Lazima move to another level. That's it. If una case, una case na umetoka kwa chief, mumeenda sasa kwa <laughs> ah, mukiena pale kwa <laughs> kwa high court, God is now. If umefika huko, mkikutana na chief na huko hawezi kuuliza. Kwa sababu eh, kesi yako imepita hapa umewini huko. So kuna pepo zingine zikikuona zinatoroka bio. Maana kama umepita hiyo level hizo pepo una dina zile kubwa if yes pasamrini if aujawai aujawai defeat anga hiyo test na sio utakuta kwamba kuna watu wanakuja wanafanya ukasirike Mungu anataka upite that test na how do you pita that's how unairudia unairudia waliweka kwa prison maana ilikuwa ni test ni watu ambao wame pass test let me ask you now yale mambo unapitia right now ume pass test <laughs> ah, kuna test mingi sana by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, umepita. I know kuna watu ambao wameaguka test kwanza ya ya ya, 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 ya mpaka kwanza pasa mbili nasema ya time. If kuna area watu wanaaguka test ni hiyo aguka sana. Kama wakati huu tunasema kwamba kuna mambo mazito siwezi time. Yaani unaaguka hiyo test. Maji Imagine, may you pass that test. Waza niseme tena, yale mambo unapitia it is a test. May you pass that test. There is no way kuna vita. Ni mazo kuna sema kwamba amepita amepita level ya tithe, has to run on a tithe. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> What about hasira? What about bitterness? Umepita hiyo test. Umepita hiyo. Yeah, what about gossip? Umepita hiyo. Watu wanakuletea mambo mno. Imagine, imagine, let me tell you, regardless tena kwamba kuna mtumishi wa Mungu na mbaya, wachana na yeye, wacha Mungu adili na kesi yake. Siwezi kubali ku debate issues a man of God. Wachana hiyo Mungu adinayo. Sababu ujui, remember case ya Moses. Na unisikize, Aaron na Miriam. Aaron na Miriam walianza kuinukia Moses. Aaron na Miriam akapata ukoma. Can you pass the test of honor? Can you ona kiongozi wako? Can you ona kiongozi wako? Wana ni kwa kanisa kiongozi ambaye ako juu can you ona? Can you pass that test? Let me ask you. If you were David na urushiwe mshare na mtu ambaye sasa unampigia kinanda pepo zinatoka. Unaweza rudi hapo umchezee tena. Na David alikuwa anarushiwa mshare. Unamlenga ashikanishwe na ukuta na brother anarudi hapo. Imagine. Anaendelea pale. Yeye hakuwa anamrushia. There are so many people today wakitusiwa wanaijibu na text. Yaani unaaguka hiyo text. Kuna watu ambao wameanguka kwa WhatsApp. Emu angalia ni test gani umeirudia for so many years. Unakuwa unakuwa tu mahali pale tu, mahali pale tu. Maybe ulianguka hiyo. Eh, hey, kwanza kadri ndio hiyo kadri wa boy. Unakuta kwamba ya kuenda church mapema. How the way? How the way? Kila time unachelewa na jomo unaenda mapema sana. Yes, una test ya kutosamehea. Always uja umesamehea. Yaani umeanguka hiyo. Mm. We una problem na wadugu. Dugu yote akija kwako lazima kutumie. Ume pass test. <laughs> ah. Wana by the way it is a test. Every test kuna testimony. And you need to understand this. Moses alikuwa na problem ya hasira. Na ilimwagusha sana. Mpaka hakuingia Canaan. Eh hey, unakuta kwamba kuna watu ambao kila time ni wanawabadilisha watu hiyo inawafail. <laughs> Maana nasoma kwamba ya kufika tatu mapema hiyo alipita kitabu. 
Bana look at this nikimaliza hapa kanisa hili nao. Very interesting. Mungu anasema namba gani? Be faithful even to the point of death. Anasema kwamba hata ikiwa wakuwe faithful ndio maji unaambiwa kuwa faith free wako kwa prison na wanaambiwa kwamba hata kwa prison wakuwe faith free ay ay wao 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 wanakuwa faith free kwa majaribu hata kwa majaribu unakuwa faith free nadin kuna watu Hawajapita hii hii test ya kutusiana yani kuna mtu ambaye ni kana kwamba amepakwa na shetani kutusiana Imagine. Imagine. Kutusiana unatusi mtu. Just like that. May you pass that test now. May you be faithful hata wakati wewe unapitia mambo mazito. Waliambia kwamba wakuwe faithful. Eh hey, pasa mwalimu video hiyo sasa. Eh unakuta kwamba kuna watu ambao hawasubmit. That's it. Hao hawafuniki kichwa. Eh wanaenda kwa kanisa na wamefunua kichwa. Eh na kichwa ni bwana yao. That's it. Look at this now. <laughs> Even to the point of death I'll give you the crown of life. Anaambia kwamba ukipita mapambo hayo kuna crown of life. Elimia bwana understand about crown sababu Simurina ule mji ulikuwa unaitwa Crown of Simurina mahali ulikuwa umewekwa So ulikuwa na understand. Mungu anasema kwamba mkipitia haya mambo mkuwa faithful. Mkipita mpaka hiyo test utapewa crown of life. Na wacha nimalizie na hii. Remember crown unaweza pokonywa na mtu. Can you hear that? Crown unaweza pokonywa na mtu. That one is very sensitive. Crown unaweza pokonywa na mtu. Na hiyo nitairudia tena. Crown yako inaweza chukuliwa na mtu mwingine. Yes. Angalia Revelation 3 verse 11 nikimaliza. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. No one will take your crown. Meaning crown yako inaweza chukuliwa na mtu mwingine. That's it. Hey, Masit, kwanza the test ya waiting. Kwanza hapo guy, watu wana fail. Kumgoza bwana, hiyo wana fail. Wana fail hiyo. Hata Sauli ya fail hiyo kabisa. Imagine. Eh, hey, hata hiyo. <laughs> Jiro anasema kwamba ana kuna kuna wanaume wanafanya test ya kutopenda. Bizao. <laughs> That's true. That's true wanafanya hiyo test. Eh? Huh? Listen to this. Akamba kwamba atapewa crown of life na crown inaweza chukuliwa. If umeitiwa area fulani ufanya kwa kanisa na ulikataa kufanya mtu mwingine, maybe tusema kwamba ulikuwa ni wa praise, ulikasirika ukaacha praise. Mtu mwingine akaingia mahali pako atapewa crown. Na zait. Bwana anasema kwamba shikiria kile uko nacho. Crown yako isinyakuliwa. Kwa sababu crown yako inaweza pokonywa. May you be faithful in your area of calling. Ili tukienda heaven, crown yako upewe. Isiere na mtu mwingine. Maybe ni ulikuwa unafaa kusimama na huyo mama. Na ulikataa. Na unaweza na ulikataa. Mtu mwingine akasimama na yeye. Ni yeye atapewa that crown. <laughs> so na tulisema kwamba kuna mambo tulisoma ambayo sasa yatafanya ulipwe. Utaenda kuna watu ambao wataenda heaven. Bado wakose crown. So you need Bible imesema hapa. <laughs> Revelation 3:11. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. So guard your crown. How do you guard your crown? Na ile ile umeitiwa kuwa faithful tukifika heaven upewe crown. Kuna watu ambao wataingia heaven. Bado wakosa crown. <laughs> Wapewe tu crown ya righteousness. Hizi zingine walikuwa pewe, zipewe watu wengine kwa sababu 
hawakufanya hiyo <laughs> tukifika by the way hapa utajabua sana kuna mambo mingi sana you need to understand mambo mingi sana you need to understand may you pass that test in the name of Jesus Christ that's it <laughs> Agnes ananijenga sana. Uh, then last three nikimaliza wakaambua namna gani? Wakaambua namna gani? Kuna kitu Mungu alimalizia na kuambia, he who has an ear. Let me hear what the spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes will not be hurt at all by the second death atakaye overcome na overcomers those who are born of god wana overcome hawatapatana na second death na second death ni gani ni kutupwa kwenye leko fire kuwe kwa kwenye leko fire bible inasema in every 20 that one is called what second death second death overcomers hawatapatana na second death na second death ni nini ni kuwekwa kwenye lake of fire Ah fire sana sana kwa baba wengine wetu hatujui yale ambao tumeitiwa <laughs> Lakini tuliangalia mambo 14 ambayo sasa Bible inasema kwamba yanaangaliwa ili unalipwa So tumeyasoma haya mambo Hayo si mambo mbo watu ambao wamefuatilia class unajua kwamba haya ni mambo tumeyasoma na tumeangalia kwa undani sana very important very very important what i'm going to say here second death revelation 20 verse 6 blessed and holy are those who have part in the first resurrection the second death has no power over them but they will but they will be priests of god and of christ and who reign with him for thousand years thousand years and let me go to verse 14 The dead and heads were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is a the lake of fire is a second death. The lake of fire is a second death. Revelation 20 verse 14. The lake of fire is a second death. Kuna namna gani atakapokai overcome hatapatana na second death. Na second death is a lake of fire. Na remember Simurina hakuna makosa yamepatikana kwao bali wamepitia majaribu mingi sana. Na kusema kwamba unapitia majaribu does not mean kwamba umefanya dhambi sana. Kusema kwamba ke una pesa does not mean kwamba wewe umefanya dhambi wala bwana pesa hawana dhambi. No. Hao walikuwa maskini but rich in God. Na hakuna makosa Mungu ameongea juu yao. Patumwambia kwamba wanatestiwa. Na wakuwa faithful hata wakistestiwa atakaye overcome makamu kwamba atapoa crown of life nisikize kwa sababu ya majaribu hayo atapoa crown of life then akamalizwa namna gani hawatapata second death okay overcome we are born of god and we are overcomers this is a victory that overcame the world even our faith god bless you so much don't miss tomorrow Tunaangalia mambo mawili very important mambo mawili very important the spirit of Baram and the white stone Tomorrow the spirit of Baram and a white stone What is the spirit of Baram was Baram of prophet of God tukiangalia kanisa la Parigamo There was the doctrine of Baram There was a way of Baram kuna mambo matatu angalia juu ya Baram tomorrow don't miss it juu ya Baram tangalia the spirit of Baram maneke kanisa parigawo liko na pigana na doctrine of Baram so tomorrow tangalia the doctrine of Baram na tuangalie white stone what is a white stone kuna mambo kumi you need to understand about white stone kwa nini naita my wife white stone What is the spirit of Baram? Was Baram a prophet of God or not? Don't miss tomorrow tukitambua kanisa la Parigamo.
kanisa la Parigamo but nitadoro sana sana kwa hayo mambo mawili Spirit of Baram and the White Stone tomorrow God bless you so much let's pray and breathe God eh kwamba atakuwa anapitia mambo mazito sana you're going to pass that test in Jesus name <laughs> Basa Bolivia pia anauliza kwamba ukua pasta wa Simulina. <laughs> hey, if if una menesa because of money. Ukua pasta wa Simulina by the way watu wanaona menesa because of money. Wanafuga hiyo church. Wanafunga hiyo church kwa sababu <laughs> Pua. Na ukisema Mungu anasema kwamba I know your poverty. Don't don't joke with those people. They were poor. Baba katika jina takatifu la Bwana Yesu Kristo asante baba kwa neema yako. Asante kwa kile ambacho umetenda na maisha yetu. Umetubariki Jehovah God. Umetuonekania. Umebadilisha mawazo yetu na mioyo yetu. Tunakujua zaidi kupitia kwa neno lako Bwana. Ni asante kwa nguvu zako. Kuna watu ambao wanapitia mambo mazito. Wengine walionekana kana kwamba wameona kana kwamba wamelaniwa. Wengine walikuwa wanaona kana kwamba wametenda dhambi mingi sana. Wengine wanaona kana kwamba baba umewachukia that's why they are going mambo mazito sana. Bado umetuambia Jehovah tonight ya kwamba hata tukua tunapitia mambo mazito unajua hayo yote. Na umetuambia Jehovah God ya kwamba we have been tested na tukue faithful. Atakuwa tunapitia mambo mazito. I pray for thy grace to flow upon these people. Grace them father. Wapite yale mambo wanapitia. Jehovah grace them father kwa kwa prison. Ah wa wind zile vita bwana in the name of Jesus Christ. Tumekuinua tumekupa sifa kwa maana umetenda na umetimiza. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba hata kuamini. Amen. 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 You are there you're not saved. You would like Jesus Christ in gear kwa your heart. Yesu. Nimeamini ufufuo wako. Na nimekili kwa kinywa changu ya kwamba ewe Yesu ni bwana. Kwandia siku ya leo mimi ni kiume kipya na nimeokoka. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeokoka na nimeamini. Amen. Baba wamekata kauli ya kuokoka. Tatangaza baba unawashikilia kwa maana wewe unatushikilia Mungu. Utuotendea makubwa na maajabu. Na uwezo wako baba utaonekana kwao. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 May you pass that test. Angalia kanisa la Simulina by the way. Yale Mungu ameongea juu kanisa la Simulina by the way ni mambo tu mazito, afflictions, poverty, prison for 10 days, 10 years. Bara kuna makosa walipatikana. Hata unapitia hayo mambo. Si ati wakomo umekosea, ah ah. It is a test. May you pass that test with a fine color in Jesus name. I love you all. Tomorrow the spirit of Balaam and the white stone. Don't miss it. Ah, Joseph Matari, God bless you Nims. Wakibe God bless you Michael Kerie. Wacha nione watu ambao wametufuatilia. Just ah sign out nione kwamba watu ambao wametufuatilia tukiangalia haya mambo ya kanisa la Simurina I brief hiyo ni kanisa watu wengi sana wanapita tu but Mungu ametusaidia tumejaribu kuchambua uh, vile Mungu ametusaidia ametumnaemesha and that is very very important <laughs> yeah, White Stone by the way iko hapo chini imeandikwa hapo. Bible inasema kwamba overcomers so wameahidiwa White Stone. Sasa tuangalie what is the meaning of that White Stone. Tuangalie hapo kabisa. Manage it is very very important. Very very important. Mother God bless you. Jo God oh God bless you. Basi mimi nasema test zingine ni ngumu sana ni kama mock <laughs> form 3. A <laughs> video God bless you Elizabeth Mwigai God bless you. Maggie Joroge God bless you. Anasema kwamba ikrasi imetupeleka tu another level. Win na Rusi God bless you. Mary God bless you. Masiko nasema kwamba Paul someone. Kemani Jane. 
Ah, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Aha, aha. <laughs> uh, pass the test. Pass the test. <laughs> ah, God bless you, Ruthu Gadu. God bless you. Mungu bariki sana by the way. God bless you. You can sign out to watu wao tumekuwa na wao. Oh, Rusia ananiambia kama unanipenda sana. Thank you. Kwanza kusikia ukiambiwa hivyo. Bogwa, God bless you. Bogwa, Judy Janet, Shirwaruru, Magi Joroge. Eh, na mag, magi wamekuwa wengi, Magi Magi, Magi Joroge, Magi Magi Moroki, Sara na Kesa wa Jiro Mwangi. God bless you all. Catherine, shalom and have a good night. My number is 0726511792. 0726511792. May you have a gracious night. Shalom.